Okay, directions are find the exact value of the six trig functions of theta if the point 3, negative 1 lies on the terminal side of theta. Okay? So what does that mean? Well, the six trig functions, of course, come to mind sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent, okay, of theta. That's what we need to find. Um, so before we do that, we got to think about our um, definitions, right? What is the sine of theta defined as the cosine of theta and the tangent of theta? The sine of theta is, of course, if you remember, hopefully, y over r cosine is x over r tangent is y over x defined in the xy plane. Um, so what's r, right? That's the first thing we don't have. I mean, you should hopefully realize that that's x and that's y. So really, I could do the tangent right now. That's easy. y over x just by definition is uh, negative one third, right? Uh, but to understand a little better, I want to see what my angle is, right? I can always in math just apply definitions. Um, but we can at least take a look at the picture and at least see the angle we're working with. So I'll draw a picture. That's the point in question. It lays, lays on the terminal side of theta, right? So the angle in itself is this angle. Okay, so it gives us a better idea uh, that that angle is in the, the terminal side lays in the fourth quadrant. It should be between, somewhere between 270 and 360 degrees, all right? Um, so again, what we need to find R, and R is simply the distance. This is just right triangle trigonometry. R is just the distance from the origin to that point, right? So basically, I could just draw a right triangle. It's really the Pythagorean theorem, right? R is the square root of x squared plus y squared, meaning it's the square root of this case, 3 squared plus negative 1 squared, which is the square root of 9 plus 1, or the square root of 10. Okay? So with that information, I got R, I got x and y, they're given to me, I can now answer all the questions. Okay? Um, so I'm going to start with the first three, sine, cosine, and tangent. The sine is negative 1 over root 10. I'm going to have to do something with that in a minute. Cosine is 3 over root 10. And the tangent is still negative 1 third. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and erase this because we don't need it anymore. Um, I know R is root 10, that's all I need. Alright, we did find R to be root 10. Alright, so you might say, well wait, don't leave your answer like that because there's a square root in the denominator, and you're right. Okay, I'm going to deal with that in a second. But before I rationalize the denominator, I'm going to go ahead and write my other three, and I'll show you why. Um, the reciprocal of the sine functions, cosecant, reciprocal of the Cosine is secant, and for tangent, of course, cotangent. So by definition, you just reciprocal means these guys flipped over, right? So r over y, r over x, and x over y. My other video about this, I think I got, I got one of these wrong. I can't remember which one it was, but I forgot to flip it. I gave the same answer for cosine and secant, um, or maybe it was sine and, cos uh, sine and cosecant. Okay, but not this time. Um, so, we can, the reason I'm not going to rationalize this now, because I, I want to flip it to get the cosecant first, right? If you, if you take the reciprocal of 1 over root 10, it's root 10 over 1, or negative root 10, okay? I'll uh, take the reciprocal of that guy, it's root 10 over 3, alright? And then I'm done with that. And the reciprocal of 1 third, of course, is 3 but it should still be negative. Reciprocal doesn't mean change the algebraic sign of that guy. So if the tangent is negative, so is the cotangent. All right? Um, so we're almost done. Cosecant negative root 10, secant root 10 over 3, cotangent negative 3, tangent negative 1 third. Now I just got to deal with those guys, right? We have to rationalize those denominators, which means I got to multiply by 1. So I multiply by a form of 1 of my choosing root 10 over 10. 
And that gives me the answer for sine is negative root 10 over 10, right? Negative root 10 over 10 uh, with no radical in the denominator or a rational number in the denominator. And same thing here, root 10 by root, root 10 over root 10 gives me 3 root 10 over 10, okay? And those are your six trig functions. That works more or less the same if you're working in a right triangle. Um, you would do pretty much the same thing. Uh, your definitions are a little bit different. Uh, you might remember the definition opposite over hypotenuse for sine, adjacent over hypotenuse for cosine, opposite over adjacent for tangent. Uh, pretty much the same thing here, only you won't have negatives, right, if it's the side of a triangle. Okay, so I hope that helps.